Hello everybody, it's Kayak Cliff. I'm in my front yard and I have my fleet of kayaks inflated out before you. It's uh, Memorial Day weekend uh, 2022 and I get a lot of requests asking me to compare and contrast between all the different kayaks that Sea Eagle has. And I figured, hey, why not inflate them all? I'm gonna walk you through all these different kayaks what the features, functions, benefits, what the advantages of it is, what the disadvantages are, uh, to help you decide which kayak is best for you based on what you want to do. So stay tuned. We're coming back and we're going to explore all of these awesome Sea Eagle kayaks. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Quickly, I just want to go over each boat. Uh, this is the Fast Track here. And the Fast Track is a uh, high performance, uh, 28 inch wide, super fast kayak. It's, it's made for light camping, small dogs, flat water, super high performance, awesome maneuverability just a wonderful kayak, but it's for flat water. And it, they make this in a, this is a 12 foot 10 inch, it's the 393 RL, but they also have the 473 RL, which is a tandem kayak. Uh, so meaning you can have two, two seats in it. Um, you have an option in each kayak, uh, as, you know, for this seat, it's a tall back seat, has a real nice inflatable pad that's a couple inches high very comfortable very supportive has a nice bag on the back to um to keep all of your uh, gear like a whistle and you know first aid kit things like that now there's a fin that installs on the underside that gives you awesome tracking performance uh even when you're not paddling you'll just go straight if you have a crosswind or a cross current this helps keep you straight I find that this kayak paddles wonderfully and maneuvers wonderfully without any fin, but it's just user preference. Sometimes I throw the fin in if there's a bad crosswind or a bad cross current or anything like that. I find that the seat is even more comfortable in this kayak if I put it on top of a standard boat cushion. It elevates the seat even more. Um, makes this boat a little bit more tippy, but it's awesome on these other boats I'm gonna go through. Now, this is the Fast Track. The Fast Track 385 FT for Fast Track. This is a do everything kayak pretty much, but not, not major, not major whitewater or anything like that. But as the name implies, before the Razor Light came out, the Fast Track was the best high performing tracking kayak. And reason for it is that it has an inflatable keel built into the kayak that helps keep this a very straight tracking kayak. There's a fin just like the razor light that goes in the back or the stern of the boat also to give you that, that good tracking performance. Now, what's interesting about this, ba this boat, this is uh, 12 foot six inches. And with this kayak, you can slide this seat all the way to the back and put another one in the front and make it a tandem kayak. Okay, next we have the Explorer line of kayaks. And as the name implies, this is an adventure kayak, an Explorer kayak, an expedition kayak. It comes in three sizes. There's the 300 Explorer, which is nine foot 10 inches by 39 inches wide. They're all 39 inches wide, uh, so over three feet wide. Um, the one you're looking at here is the 380, and this one is 12 foot six inches wide. And then you have the 420, which is 14 feet wide, again, all by 39 inches. Now, what's this kayak used for? This kayak has 12 or 16, I'm not positive, uh, I think it's 16, maybe. No, it has 12 self-bailing holes in it. 
So when you're taking tons of water over the bow, uh, going down class four whitewater rapids, it quickly drains out and is never full of water. That's really cool. This is the first kayak to have that. Um, it is awesome for flat water paddling. It's gonna be slower, a lot slower than these kayaks, but it's gonna give you the ability to carry a lot of weight. Uh, for example, this kayak will carry 750 pounds. You can do tandem paddling in it like the fast track over here where you put the two seats in, but it'll hold 750 pounds. That's a lot of gear for expedition camping down whitewater rivers uh, or even flatwater kayaking. Um, I'll get into the different speeds that you can uh, expect out of these different kayaks in just a little bit. But um, again, three different sizes. Now, with the Fast Track and with the Explorer, both of these are wonderful for fishing. You can stand up in them very easily. Um, I'm on the inflatable keel on this one, but you can stand up in them because they have a very rigid drop stitch floor and you can stand up in these. They're not tippy at all. So wonderful for fishing. They have two fishing models as well that have a reinforced uh, crocodile hide floor, I think they call it. And then they have some reinforcements on the side uh, for uh, sharp barbs from fish or fish hooks or anything like that. Every boat I'm showing you here is made from thousand denier quadruple overlapped reinforced denier material. Extremely durable. These are not pool toys. These are extremely durable kayaks with three year warranties from Sea Eagle. And I know many people that have had Sea Eagles for over 10 years. You take care of them and they'll last you forever. As a matter of fact, with the Explorer, here's a video clip of them at the factory hitting it with a claw hammer and also driving over it with a Jeep. That gives you uh, a good indication of the durability of these boats. Now, this other kayak, it's in a league all by itself. It's called the Paddle Ski. It's not really a kayak, it's a boat. It's a pontoon boat and you have pontoons on the side in a rigid drop stitch floor, just like you have here and in all the other kayaks. You have a drop stitch floor in the Fast Track, in the Explorer, and in the Paddle Ski, which is extremely rigid. Uh, on the sides, you have big pontoons, and these big pontoons give unbelievable stability to the boat. But this kayak is made for two people. It comes with you can have two seats on it. Typically when I'm by myself, I just have one seat. Uh, even if I have somebody else, I just kind of put a boat cushion on the floor and let them sit up there. But you can put another seat just like I'm in right here. You can use the inflatable seats in this as well. They work perfectly and wonderfully, and they don't take up as much room in your vehicle. This boat will take up to a, a six horsepower motor and it'll go 16 miles an hour. And on a three gallon tank of gas, it'll go all weekend. Uh, and in, with these high gas prices, this is fun, low-cost entertainment. Um, it'll also take an electric uh, motor or even a, like a tor Torquedo electric motor. Uh, but your fastest option is going to be uh, like a five or six horsepower Honda. And they sell Hondas uh, at Sea Eagle as well. Wonderful boat for fishing. Every one of these boats is wonderful for fishing. Now, the, 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 the Razor Light that I talked to you first... It's gonna be more of a sit down kayak uh, for fishing. You're gonna to wanna to sit down in it and then maybe have an egg crate behind you with some uh, fishing rods vertical that you can turn around and get. Uh, but you're gonna be pretty much sitting and casting in this boat. All the other boats, you can stand up, no problem. Now, why am I showing the paddle ski? Well, the paddle ski is I would not ever buy the paddle ski for just paddling. Um, although you can just paddle it, think of this boat as a boat that you're gonna get in and you're gonna motor to some cool remote spots. And then you get to a remote spot like a creek or a little lagoon, uh, you know, the water and the wind is favorable. You can cut the motor and you can sit here and paddle. Now kayak, um, 
Uh, sea Eagle makes eight foot paddles, which is what you want for a boat this wide. This is 48 inches wide. And I think it's 14.4, uh, what is it here? It's 14.4 long. What else is cool is with these three kayaks, the paddle ski, the Explorer, and the Fast Track, is you can stand up paddle. So carry an SUP paddle with it and you can stand up paddle. So that's kind of neat for getting in and just getting a different vantage point or if you're fishing to actually see down in the water and sight fish. Now, how about the weights of these boats? Uh, the weight, the, all of these boats will roll up and go into the back of a compact vehicle and a hatchback and a trunk. If you have an SUV or a pickup truck like this, a full-size SUV or a pickup truck like this, every one of these boats rolled up and fit in the back of my truck that you see behind me with plenty of room to spare. So extremely easy to store these boats and extremely easy to transport these boats. If you're an RV or inflatable is the way to go. Um, but as far as the weights, that's the big thing. If you're a retiree or if you're somebody who doesn't want to deal with a bunch of weight, uh, this is 35 pounds. Pick it up and carry it, no problem. This is the Razor Light. The Fast Track is 35 pounds. Uh, 44 pounds if it's a, uh, the bigger uh, tandem model, uh, the, the biggest tandem model, uh, or 45 pounds on the, on the Razor Light if it's a bigger model. Uh, the Explorer is 30 pounds for the uh, small. 40 pounds for this model and 44 pounds for the biggest model. And then the uh, paddle ski is 67 pounds, uh, but that's without the transom. Add the transom and it's gonna be another 10 pounds, 75 pounds probably. Now let's talk about the load carrying capacities with all these boats. If you're looking for the versatility of a folding kayak or an inflatable kayak, you've come to the right place. I used to be a folding kayak person, I'm not anymore. I've had 14 hard shell kayaks over the last eight years and I've sold them all and I've gone 100% inflatable. And here's why. Um, the load carrying capacity of these boats far, surpa far surpasses the load carrying capacity of a hard shell kayak or even a folding kayak. Um, the Razor Light, 500 pounds, people and gear. That is crazy in terms of, you know, a normal 12 foot kayak, hard shell, you're gonna get 300 pounds max uh, in terms of load carrying capability. Which means if you're a larger paddler, you can, this boat will hold you just fine. Up to 250 pounds in the middle of the kayak. I'd say it's better for up to 225 pounds, but it'll work well up to 250 pounds paddler and then you can distribute gear throughout it. Um, the fast track, Oh, the larger version of the Razor Light uh, will hold 750 pounds. Uh, that's the two-person tandem. Uh, the Fast Track, uh, this boat right here, the, the standard tandem or single paddler, it'll hold uh, 635 pounds. You got these bigger pontoons and it gives it unbelievable stability. Impossible to tip this thing over. Uh, you could tip over the Razor Light, uh, but it's not gonna tip over any easier any harder or any easier than a standard hard shell kayak. It has really good secondary and primary stability. But uh, the bigger version of the Fast Track is gonna carry 700 and, uh, 795 pounds. Uh, so again, extreme uh, load carrying capability. And I'm sorry, it's super windy here. I hope it's not coming out too bad on the uh, camera. But uh, the Explorer, the Explorer will carry uh, 395 pounds for the small model, which is smaller than this. It's a nine foot model. Uh, it'll carry uh, 750 pounds with the model that you see here. And then the biggest model will carry 855 pounds. Now, getting over to the uh, paddle ski, the paddle ski will carry 855 pounds as well. And it's because of these big pontoons. Um, the big pontoons give it a ton of flotation. And with all of these kayaks, there's multiple air bladders, like the Razor Light, there's three different air bladders on this, three different air bladders on the Fast Track, three different air bladders on the Explorer, and one, two, three, four, five different air bladders on the paddle ski. And what that is, that, that's safety. It's, if one air bladder should give out, 
you have all the other ones to get you back to shore. But it's not going to happen. These are built unbelievably durable. Remember that Jeep that I showed you and the guy with the claw hammer hitting them? Uh, I've never had a trouble with them. Now, what about average paddling speed that you can expect out of these? Uh, with the Razor Light, this is your fastest boat. And if you're going to go out there and use Strava or something, at the end of the day, see your, see your average speed when you're done. Uh, your average speed is this is going to be three to four and a half miles per hour. Uh, with top speeds of five to six miles per hour, which that's fast. Anytime I'm paddling this kayak with a, uh, a touring kayak, like a 12, 14, 15 foot touring kayak, anybody that's on a hard shell touring kayak, I can hold my own with this. It's, it's unbelievable how fast it is. Um, now the fast track, you're gonna drop about a mile per hour down to two and a half to three and a half with a top speed of four to five and a half miles per hour. And then you're, uh, you're gonna drop about another mile an hour with the Explorer. This Explorer is gonna go about a mile and a half to two and a half miles per hour average speed. I did a 12 mile paddle recently where I, that I filmed a video on down the Brazos River and my average speed for the day was two and a half miles per hour. Top speed would be three to four. Now the, uh, the paddle ski, again, this is something that you paddle to an area where the conditions are right and you do a little paddling and I mean it's where you motor to an area where the conditions are right and you paddle around a little bit or maybe you go to the end of a lake and turn around and let the wind push you back as you paddle uh, because this boat is going to be the slowest it's going to be about a one to two mile per hour average speed but you can go farther with this. You can motor out to the really cool places, spend a whole day, whole weekend down in the water, carry a bunch of gear, stand up paddle and kayak paddle when you feel like it. So that's the paddling story with these. Now motor, the, fa the fast track, I mean the, uh, the Razor Light, uh, no motor option at all, but the fast track, there's a motor mount for a 34 pound thrust uh, electric motor that you can put on this. There's a motor mount for the Explorer for a 34 pound thrust uh, electric motor as well. And again, we talked about the motoring options. You got gas to electric uh, for the paddle ski. Again, whitewater in rivers. Uh, the Razor Light's gonna be good up to like class one and uh, you know maybe class two, but certainly class one, no problem. When you're doing uh, things like that, you might wanna take the fin out uh, if you're going to be scraping any rocks. Uh, the fast track is also going to be class one or two. Uh, so nothing major, but certainly if you get a little bit of white water, again, with that inflatable keel on this one, if you're hitting a lot of rocks and it's very, very, very shallow and you're going to be dragging the bottom, I would probably choose the Explorer because the Explorer doesn't have a, a keel in the front. Um, now, the, the Explorer it'll go up to class four white water. And I think I mentioned that before. And then the paddle ski, it's not really designed for white water. Now, as far as self bailing, um, if this fills up with water, you just pull onto the shore and tip it over and drain the water out, no problem. There's two train plugs in the back. Uh, but again, if, even if you did fill it up with water, it's not gonna sink. <laughs> Um, I had mentioned folding kayaks. I got out of folding kayaks because number one, I thought they were too slow. Number two, uh, they took forever to put together. These just inflate in a matter of minutes. Um, but number three is if you fill up a folding kayak, it's gonna sink, uh, unless you have air bladders, but that's a whole other complexity to those boats. These perform a heck of a lot better. But uh, self bailing again on this fast track, there's uh, two drain plugs in the back, but you can just pull on shore, tip it over and drain it out, uh, no problem. The Explorer, again, is the one that has 16 drain plugs, self-bailing drain plugs in it. And if this boat swamps with water from white water, within a matter of a minute, it's gonna be completely drained out because of the 16 plugs that will get the water out and keep it out of this boat. Now, the paddle ski, it's self-bailing out the back. Water will, will uh, flow out behind the transom and so if you take a bunch of water over it, it's gonna drain right out the back. So it does self bail Now, a lot of viewers will ask me questions about what does it look like when these are set up tandem? And well, when I was setting these up, I grabbed my wife and said, 
I'm gonna put two seats in a fast track here. Let's both sit in it. I'm six foot one, my wife is five foot two. Very petite. But um, here's some pictures I'll put up on screen showing how we fit in the 385 FT. Now, for just going out for the day and paddling for a couple hours, it's perfect. You could put a little cooler up in the front, uh, have your paddles, life jackets, you know, a little dry bag in the back, uh, it'd be fine. Um, if you're gonna be doing any multi-day trips with two paddlers, or you're gonna be going a lot longer, you need to carry more gear, maybe a dog with you, you'd wanna go up to the, um, the bigger model of the Fast Track and even the Explorer. Like the Fast Track would be the 485 right here, and then the Explorer would be the uh, 420. But again, I put the pictures on the screen so you can kind of get an idea what a six foot and a five foot two paddler looks like in these two models right here. Now, as far as tracking, the Razor Light's gonna track unbelievably well. Even tracks well when you're paddling without a fin in it. Now, when you stop paddling the Razor Light over here, this one is gonna start moving around on you. When you stop paddling, like, like if you wanna take a picture, you're a photographer, you're paddling this, you stop paddling, it's gonna kinda drift and take its own course of action by itself. But if, if you have the, uh, the fin in it, it'll stay rock solid steady. Now the fast track, um, again, you really need the fin in this and you have the inflatable keel in the bow. It tracks very well. And even when you stop paddling to take a picture of a bird or something, it's gonna keep on tracking well. The Explorer, you're getting into a boat that is extremely maneuverable. And again, it has a fin that goes in the stern as well. And this is gonna track well when you paddle, as long as you have the fin in. When you take the fin out for doing whitewater, when you're paddling, if you manage your strokes and you stay consistent in your strokes, it'll track well, but not nearly as well as if you have the fin in it. Now, you can spin donuts. You can spin 360 degree circles to the extent is fast enough to where you might even get a little dizzy in this boat. And that's important because it has to be maneuverable to get around rocks and, and different things when you're whitewater rafting. So that's what this boat's designed for. Another thing I didn't point out before is the load carrying capability on this boat is so much more because these side pontoons are so much bigger than the fast track. Um, with this one, you're gonna need definitely an eight foot paddle uh, an eight-foot paddle for this as well because it's about 36 inches wide. Um, this is uh, 39 inches wide. Actually, that's a good segue to paddles. Um, this uh, Sea Eagle has a bunch of different paddle options. Um, I do have a different one. This is an Aquabond paddle. For the Razor Light, this is seven foot seven or this is about a seven foot six, seven foot seven paddle. It's like 230 centimeters. Great for the very narrow 28 inch wide um, uh, uh, razor light. Now, this is Sea Eagle's carbon fiber paddle. This is a little bit bigger. This is seven foot 11. Now, they have a carbon fiber paddle that, that extends to different lengths, or you can have just this standard seven foot 11 paddle. It works very well with the fast track and could even work well with the, uh, the Explorer. The um, biggest paddle they make is an eight foot paddle. And this eight foot paddle is what you're gonna wanna use for the paddle ski and the Explorer. It's the longest paddle that you can get, but it allows you to get out and over those big pontoons and dip the paddle in the water and have some efficiency with your paddling stroke. Again, the seat options, I love this high back seat. Uh, let me take it out so I can show you a little closer. I really like it because it's an extremely durable, heavy duty Cordura nylon. And they put excellent hardware. All the hardware from the D-rings to just the overall construction of Sea Eagle's boats is just top notch, but very good uh, rust resistant salt waterproof uh, hardware, very high denier uh, Cordura, a very rigid, uh, thick uh, seat cushion, and then also a pocket in the back. Now, 
you can buy packages with one of these or two of these seats. Um, and again, the Razor Light, this is the best seat for the Razor Light because it's so narrow and because you don't really want to be elevated up higher. If you're a really good paddler and you're comfortable, you could put a boat cushion underneath it to elevate you more. Now the Fast Track will take the high back seat as well, or, and so will the Explorer. Both of these boats will take the high back seat or they'll take the inflatable seat. And let me take out the inflatable seat. Nice thing about the inflatable seat is you don't need to put a pad underneath you. It elevates you higher anyway. And being elevated higher in these two boats is nice because you get a higher angle of paddle and you become more efficient. You get less paddle drip in the boat and things like that. But these inflatable seats, don't let it fool you, these are extremely durable and you can just blow them up real easy with these, with these Boston valves here. And the seating for the, um, the paddle ski, you have a lot of people that will use the uh, inflatable seats or they can use these, uh, uh, these rigid seats that have the ability to turn. So a lot of really good seat options with all these kayaks. And again, I touched on it before, the fishing capabilities with these boats are excellent. As you see them right here, they're great for fishing. They do, like I mentioned before, on the Explorer and on the Fast Track, they do have some reinforcements for these boats with fishing models. You don't need that, but uh, if you want that extra reassurance from uh, sharp barbs on fish and fins and sea fish hooks and things like that, you could go that route. It's a really good route to go. Um, but again, fishing is great. Only sitting down fishing with the razor light, stand up fishing if you want, from the fast track to the explorer to the paddle ski, all great fishing model boats. And the thing great about fishing out of a kayak is that it's super quiet. You can paddle up, upside down, you can paddle up to the, uh, to the fish in a stealth fashion and get out there and get that fish that you've been looking for. Um, with the paddle ski, you motor to the cool fishing spots and you cut the engine and you stand up paddle or you sit down kayak paddle into the areas where the fish are that you want to, that you want to uh, surprise. Okay, all, all Sea Eagle boats will, will come with a pump uh, that you can manually pump with. In every one of these, it's entirely possible to manual pump it. Now, if it's hot summer day, you might be a little sweaty after you pump and you might be a little bit tired, but not too bad. Uh, so what I did is I went and I invested in the pump from Sea Eagle. They have four different pumps. This is their top of the line. It'll pump up everything from high pressure paddle boards all the way to the paddle ski and all these other boats. I think it was about 225, 230, $250, something like that. I'll put the link uh, for it in the description box. But this one, you just set it and forget it and it pumps it up for you while you're getting the cooler out of the car and all the other things that you might need. Uh, very, very nice self-contained battery. Uh, the battery will pump up like five or six of these kayaks with no problem. If you do run out of battery, you can hook it. There's a hookups that you can hook it up to your car battery. So I really highly recommend these, these battery powered pumps. And every one of these boats, they have the easy cart option. Now this one's designed for the paddle ski you, you put it in the stern, you strap it onto the boat, and even with the motor on and all of your gear in the boat and the gas tank and everything, you just pick up the handle in the, in the bow and you just pull it along to the water and put it right down on the water. These easy carts are great and they have different sizes. This one is for the paddle ski, but they have narrower, narrower easy carts for all the different models of kayaks. But you know, these other kayaks here, you don't really need it because these are only like 35 pound kayaks. They're super easy to pick up and just carry. I mean, let me show you. This one's got the seat in it, but uh, 35 pounds, boom. One arm military press, super light. No way you're doing that with a 12 foot rigid shell kayak. Thank you so much for sitting here and listening to me ramble on about all the different benefits of these cool Sea Eagle kayaks. Sea Eagle is an unbelievable brand. It's been around for, I think they're in their 52nd year. I think it's since 1967 or so. It's a family run business out of New York. Wonderful, uh, wonderful company. They stand behind their product. 
again, I don't have anything bad to say about them. I totally love the people at Sea Eagle, and I think you will too. Um, all the links for all of these products will be in my description box, and uh, they're affiliate links. If you click on them I, and, and you choose at some point to buy, I appreciate you um, using my affiliate links. It gets me just a little bit of a commission back that helps me fund this channel and produce these videos, buying equipment, um, buying camera gear, you know, funding trips, it costs money. So really appreciate you supporting with the affiliate link. Um, like and subscribe to this video and sub uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me. I no don't only do videos like this, but I also do adventure videos. Uh, I just bought a really cool mountain bike. I'm gonna start mountain biking videos as well, but uh, kayaking, biking, and camping are kind of my genre of what I like to focus on. So stay safe out there, safe adventuring. Uh, as you approach the summer of 2022, stay safe out on the water. And if you're looking for a kayak, these are some great options from Sea Eagle.